Hello folks, Double Tap here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are bottling up our rosé wine. Let me get a bit of bump. So, uh, this one was bottled up. Uh, let me work it out. So, one, two. This one, we, sorry, it weren't bottled up. <laughs> it, it was made up into the demijohn just over three weeks ago. Uh, I put in the wine stabiliser, the degassing and the finings a week ago. We made it with the um, Wilco Rosé wine kit. We also added 450 grams of sugar. It's 100% totally fermented out. This has the finings of work to treat. Let me, hold on a second. I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to stick this on which is an extremely bright LED and I'll try and zoom into this so you can have a look at what I'm actually talking about so if I put that about there turn that so I can see it and if you can see that I hope you can you can see all the sediment at the bottom and that wine is crystal clear. It's turned out extremely nice that has and it does look really good. So let me get this off because it is extremely blinding and we'll zoom back out like so. There we go. Lovely drip light. Right then, oh, hold on. I have to turn the view screen so I can see it, see if everything's in shots because it makes it so much bloody easy and it's unreal. Anyway, <coughs> you might have noticed I've got loads of bottles, including wine bottles. I've got one, two, three, three fermenters here that have all been star sand. All my equipment's there, that's all been star sand. What I actually want to do is set this up like that because I want to, if I can, go down the bottle like that. So if there is any sediment in here, we'll not mess that one up. Okay, let's try it again. It's because that, that is quite high that is. We bring it down a touch. Okay, let's try that. Okay, much better. Right, this is going to take literally a minute, if that. So I might as well keep the camera rolling so you can actually see what I'm doing. Let's move that over there. Now, the trick is with this to just watch it. That, that's all you've got to do. There's no mystery to it. You've got to keep that which is the filter bottom away from the sediment, that's all. It's pretty easy. And I've got to be honest, that is looking exceptionally clear, that rosé wine is. That is looking proper nice. So let me just keep an eye on this. First time I've ever done this rosé wine. And hopefully it should be a good one. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Right, to make it easier on myself, I'm now gonna do this. That sediment is pretty solid at the bottom of there, so it's looking pretty good. It's not being stirred up or anything at the moment. So, we're almost there. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there because it's starting to look a little bit cloudy at the bottom now. And that is what we had left in there. Okay, murky that is. <laughs> it 
So them filings, they do an exceptionally good job. And I'm only doing that because I'm not using that bit. Right, let's have a look at what we've got in here. And it looks very nice. A couple of little bubbles in there. It's not actual dirt. So I'm going to move this slab and we'll be right back for a look in this. Right then, I've had a little clean up of a couple of things. I'm going to now show you exactly what we've got in here. Let me see if it comes up better in the light, it does. So, bear with me, folks. And I'll try and get you a proper look at just how nice this wine turned out. I mean, it's a little bit better with the light in there. You can't see the bloody thing. Sorry about that, but I'm just trying a couple of different methods of having a look so you can see a little bit better. Just, um, you know, how clear the wines and that are turning out. I think it's better that way, personally. Right then, it's time to get our bottles filled up, so I'm going to move the camera and we'll fill one of these bottles up. Okay, here we are. Everything's set up, so let's fill one of these rosé bottles up. It's going a little bit slow because I'm using the old tap method here, but nevertheless, it'll soon fill up. Hopefully. <laughs> It is uh, going a bit, a bit slow. It is better um, with the bottle in one. There's no two ways about it. It is so much better and it's easier and it's faster. So I suppose it is what it is, folks. It's all part of the joys of homebrewing. Right then. Okay, we're about the halfway mark. I'm going to fill it just to the cap neck, I think. So, let's have a look. Just keeping an eye on it, that's all. Here we go. Do, do, do. Almost there. And there we go, that's full up. Right, what I'll do is I'll leave it there and I'll be back in a minute. Right then folks, they're all bottled up now. We've got the full amount, all six bottles out of it, and plus a little bit more, and it looks proper nice. Let me get one of the bottles. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna try, it might be a bit strong for you to see it through that light, let me. Pull it back a bit. Hopefully you can see how clear that one's turned out, but it looks proper good. That does, sorry if the light shined in your eyes. But yeah, I am well happy with that one. So we've got the six, not doing a review on it or anything like that for at least probably a good month. You might have noticed if I show you these bottles, they're different bottle types, as you can see. Um, it's just ones that I've been collecting over the months and that lot. But what you might have noticed is I've not put the seal caps on it. I ordered some almost a week ago. They're still in come. So I won't, do, I won't make another video showing you. You've seen how I do that before. But you'll see how. You'll see when I do the review that the caps are on them and that lot. So folks, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Leave all your comments as I, as I answer them as fast as I can. And I'll catch you in the next episode. I'm Double Tap and bye for now.